what is going on everyone i'm ian salazar and or tokify i'm the rocket league head coach over here at bosco esports and today we have our varsity team taking on the pitch once again in another play vs regular season match let's get into it Alright, so once again, I have SJB Santos here with me. What is up, guys? SJB Santos, the media manager for Bosco Esports, and I'll be taking the co-casting position today for uh, Varsity Rocket League. Alright, so Varsity is still undefeated in the regular season, hoping that we can get another win as we get into it here. With Bosco in the blue, and once again, these three guys are amazing. Definitely been playing well. Uh, their chemistry has been there all throughout the season so far. And let's get into it. As Bosco in the blue, we have Cathedral Phantoms. We're in the orange team here. Galaxy, uh, the Baz, and Real Phantoms on the orange. Hopefully we can uh, see if they can uh, hopefully take down Bosco here. As we have Walrus now, taking on to the off the wall. But Cathedral Phantoms, very good on defense, but uh, a lot of pressure here going on for Bosco with this 20 seconds in here. Yeah, I mean, we definitely want to make sure and, and keep uh, our undefeated pets, uh, considering we have some all-star players like uh, the Mitchell's Corner Pass uh, games that you know, we have both runner-ups plus the champion with as the tournament uh, all on our team right now, so we're really expecting to see uh, some crazy, crazy stuff over there. K-Boss tried to hit it off into the net there, but just barely off hitting the crossbar. Spirit Classic also tried going in for a finish, but unfortunately does miss. But Bosco once again back into the orange half. That seems like real phantoms here. Trying to see if he can get a read on the ball, but Galaxy Gunner in a little 1v1 situation with Walrus. He does get there. Open net situation, but amazing there by him again. Yeah, uh, really a lot of it. pressure by Bosco, really, just in the beginning of this game. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're making sure we keep it on the orange half of the pitch, and that was a really good save by Cathedral, but they actually uh, capitalized on that play there after getting the defense off and kind of uh, just immediately make that shove towards uh, our side of the pitch, and managed to make a score there. Yeah, usually you can see the opposite. Usually you can see the opponents capitalize on pressure on Bosco's half, and then Bosco would eventually go back on their half and score a goal. But here it's the opposite. A lot of pressure from Bosco, but that eventually turned into a Cathedral Phantom's goal. Um, so hopefully here they can learn from that and capitalize into this game as uh, this now a little over a minute into game number one. And once again, it's the best of five. Uh, so first team to win three games win here as that should be a finish. Never mind, K-Boss barely hits it off the post. Still one goal lead there for Cathedral. Yeah, looks like Bosco making another push for the offense. So we've got it on the other side of the pitch here. And we're just inching back and forth towards that goal. Yeah, Bosco still with their offensive pressure here, but Cathedral once again could capitalize on this as Fear Classic does get a touch up one, bringing back to the blue half, but Walrus is there. He's trying to see if he can beat Galaxy, but Galaxy just able to get one second reaction time better as Bosco into the blue half, or orange half, I should say. Amazing score there by Walrus as k -Boss does get an assist as we have some setting issues here. Um, trying to make sure everything is, all the quality is good. As you know, we're now tied 1-1 with just three minutes still left in this game. Yeah, real nice play there by Walrus. Good kickoff there by Cathedral, the boss game, but cap on that. Fear Classic off of the wall, does get a read over one, anyone there to finish, but Walrus does cut it off. Fear Classic trying to speak against second touch. It seems like Cathedral staying back a little bit, trying to not push as much because um, those unfortunate situations, handicap situations, uh, could force an error on them as Walrus does get a good read. Is Fear Classic there? No, it does barely get beat there by one of the Cathedral fans in defense. But it seems like with the amazing pressure by Bosco, is it there? Amazing Whoa. shot. Uh, amazing shot by K-Boss, but even a, a more amazing save there by uh, Cathedral. Oh, it's getting real close there. Unfortunately, we're going to able to finish off there. You know, <clears throat> enemy teams have so far been good at kind of keeping a stalemate up for the first one goal. Um, but if they, if they let Bosco kind of snowball down uh, after that goal, uh, the enemy team defense just kind of seems to be, you know, crumbling down. So the people are doing their absolute best here to uh, keep Bosco at bay. Yeah, we've seen a lot of games in the past where 
It would be seem really close in the beginning, but as we head closer and closer to the end of the games, so we'd see Bosco will eventually make their mark and go for a lot of goals as Kbosh does get an open bottom left corner score there. Uh, Bosco now takes the lead. Two to one with just a little, little less than two minutes left. Here. Yeah, just what we're talking about. I mean, you know, typically uh, like the previous matches, they were able to you know stay up to even, um, and even in some cases, even pass the first goal, kind of just uh, make the game close and just barely lose by one or two goals. But most of the time, we've seen Boston just be able to make a just take the advantage of the opportunity there and just snowball their way into a dominating lead. So we'll see how the people are this uh, 2 1 lead here. Ball still in the orange half. This Walrus get it! Unfortunately, barely goes there off of the go. left post. Seabaz trying to get it, but missed touches here by the Cathedral Phantoms. They need to definitely get some more touches and force it, force it into the blue half as there's been a lot of pressure by Bosco. But good clear there. But it seems like real Phantoms. What does it Ooh. go in? Yes, it does. Amazing read there to bring it all the way, not only to the half of Bosco, but also able to bring it into the back of the net. Amazing read there by him. As we now are tied 2-2 two to two in game number one. Really close game here. Like I said, Bosco would usually eventually take advantage and score uh, a lot of goals in this uh, last couple of minutes. But really close here as we're tied with just less than two minutes. Yeah, Fenton's able to do a really good job at, you know, just staying equal to Bosco. They want to make sure that they don't, you know, get under, uh, underestimated uh, and just kind of get pushed over like some of the recent teams that we saw. And they're doing an excellent job of that. Uh, they're able to show that they have some real talent on their team and able to keep Bosco at a, at a tight throw with only a minute left in this game. Amazing shot there by Walrus, but it does get taken away. But it seems like Phantom, your classic should be there. Just there barely gets it off of the post. All of a sudden, we have Cathedral really getting better on their offense as uh, the game progresses and definitely make, uh, seeing how Bosco plays as well as uh, getting some better reads as uh, time goes on, making sure that they can try to hopefully take advantage of Bosco and um, hopefully get another goal here. But it seems like Galaxy tries to get a one. Is Sebaz going to try to go for a turn there? No, it does get that mid boost and does stay back. As K-Boss, is that in? Oh. Very, very good save there. Just a little pop there by fans of the still bring in as Good pinch there by two Cathedral Phantoms players as we go back into the blue half. But as I say that, Bosco once again with their pressure. Fear Classic on low boost. Trying to see if he can get some pads to bring him up there. But K-Boss also low on boost. It seems like we should be going into an overtime here in game number one. Very close game and it's only the uh, beginning of the series as we had an overtime. Yeah, this is only the second time I think in the season that we've seen an overtime coming in uh, between Bosco. So Cathedral Phantoms doing an absolutely remarkable job of holding their own here. And for the majority of that last kickoff there, they were actually able to keep Bosco on their toes and keeping uh, the offense up on them. Big pincher by Bosco. Walrus trying to do a little car control to hopefully hesitate with Bosco a bit or with uh, Cathedral a little bit. But Fear Classic does get it over. One, is anyone there for the finish? Yes, there is. Walrus, amazing read there to bring it back in the net. Uh, amazing assist there by Fear Classic as Bosco Takes the win in overtime to take game number one. Yeah, absolutely astonishing play from both teams. Both teams able to put on a real show there for us, but Bosco does end up taking a 1 0 lead over Cathedral so far. Bosco having a little bit of a challenge, you could say, here in game number one as the game was really, really close, heading in overtime and also only a one goal deficit. Um, hopefully, we could see Cathedral Phantoms bounce back um, in this series as it seems like we're heading into game number two just like that yeah and you gotta remember the last time that bosco was actually you know so close close and, and tied up like that uh when they were just like one goal difference and getting it up the very following game they were able to just smash it so hopefully that uh pattern continues for bosco but for cathedral it looks like they did a really good job at, at matching up so i'm kind of expecting there to be multiple of those type of games where they just get really really close Bosco once again with the offensive pressure in the beginning of the game. Still there as Fear Classic does get a good read on this. Did he get a second touch? No, K Boss is there. They're trying to bring it onto the side. Trying to force uh, some awkward situations here for Cathedral. But um, once again, your offensive pressure is there as a demo does come in by Phantom on the K Boss. So hopefully this can uh, force them to get a little clear and bring it to the orange or to the blue half. But Bosco is still there once again. Able to read these balls very uh, accurately and just keep that pressure that we've seen all of the first game and right now to the second game less than a minute in as K-Boss does get a good air dribble but unfortunately does get out as it clear does come in and Phantom trying to begin to the blue half 
Yeah, I mean, Kizu, Kizu, we saw there for a second that Kizu was actually brought it over to the Bosco side of the pitch, but immediately they kind of brought it back up, and Walrus gets a huge score, bringing Bosco up to 1 0 lead with just a minute into the game. Like we said, a lot of pressure could come in from one team, but if the defense is just there for the other team, they could force it a big clear to the other side, and maybe if you get a cross pitch goal, which we do see there by Bosco, 1 0 lead just a minute in. Yeah, Bosco, you know. Just absolutely just rebounded uh, the momentum that the people were putting on them. Like, it was only on the blue side of the pitch for about, I want to say, a few seconds, and we just immediately brought a cross map back over the Kapiko's uh, goal post. So, excellent, excellent play from Bosco. Pure Classic was just trying to see if he could get someone middle to bring it back there, but it, unfortunately, does get a misread by one of his players as Kapiko does bring it into their half. Um, but, this three and a half minutes left here in game number two is Pure Classic does get a good read off the wall to Walrus. Unfortunately, uh, very slow touch there, uh, unable to get a touch that he probably wanted, but it seems like Bosco a little more on the defensive side here in the beginning of the game on the field. Yeah, if you think you're actually applying pressure, this ball is getting really close to Bosco's side of the goal. Walrus, trying to see if he can pass it over a couple members of Cathedral, trying to force them into an awkward situation as the ball does pop up. Seems like Fear Classic trying to get it in there. Fortunately, it does go off with the crossbar. But K Boss trying to see if he can get a 50 over 1. Yes, he does. Is Fear Classic able to get there? No. But it does go off the wall. K Boss once again. K Boss definitely um, getting some touches here for Bosco to hopefully get a force hit. Oh, but Fear Classic once again with a lot of shots. But can't hit, seem to hit the back of the net as it does go off the crossbar once again. Bosco already more than one instance of when they were just inches away from getting this uh, ball into the post. But Cathedral are actually able to insert some pressure here and get it back on the Bosco side of the pitch, and they're actually able to make game for a few seconds because they can't make anything come out of it. But no, Bosco already, like I said before, they just rebounded back to the other side of the map. Walrus does get a touch over one. Seems like one should be there for Cathedral. Oh, oh. barely just gets it off the post. Um, very nerve-wracking shots here by both teams. Trying to one trying to make an even bigger lead while the other trying to tie it. Uh, as Seabaz does get a good touch over one, does get a bump on K Boss, but Walrus last man back does able to get a save. As Pierce Classic able to get in the wall or off uh, in the air, I should say, trying to bring it into the orange half. But seems like Cathedral definitely hang on with Bosco here. Only one goal lead, still a lot of time left on the clock. Hopefully, trying to tie this game a little bit. Yeah, already about 2 minutes and 30 seconds into this kickoff uh, since Bosco scored to support that first goal, so Cathedral holding up very well. But as we say ah, that, Fear Classic does get a good touch from Caster Walrus. Curse. Does get an amazing touch here off the backboard by Walrus. Big touch there for Fear Classic, able to get that lead and able to bring the goal now. Uh, bring, able, to bring, able to bring another goal as lead is now double 2-0, well, just a minute and a half left. Yeah, it's like the it's like the players could hear me or something. Like as soon as I said that he just make a goal for the first time in two minutes. Trade demos here by K-Boss and Seabaz. Uh, should be an open-end opportunity, but Fear Class being able to get there. Get another touch also back into the orange half. As could be an open net. Does Seabaz have enough momentum to get up there? Yes, he does. Real Phantoms does try to commit to that ball, but fortunately isn't there. Real Phantoms with an open net situation. Oh. Barely K-Boss able to hang on with him just for a little bit to bring it off the post. Um, Fear Classic now trying to see if he can go for a bump. What oh. an amazing dunk there by Walrus. By, uh, does also get a demo in the end there as well, but amazing touch by Fear Classic trying to go for a bump. Walrus able to get that read properly, able to get that dunk as well. Now we have three Three goal lead here by Bosco. I don't know if uh, Cathedral can hang on here with this minute left. Yeah, I thought for sure Cathedral uh, was going to be able to defend that when I saw that car flying in front of uh, Pierre Class. I think it was to score that goal. Um, but they just somehow made a pinch right under him and somehow managed to get that goal goal. Real fast. Maybe we get a touch here by things like Tibaz. As just less than 40 seconds left here in game number two. As amazing touch there by Walrus. Very good save there by Phantoms. Um, but it's time is running out. It seems like Bosco could run away with this game. Yeah, and I mean, 25 seconds left to catch up on a 3 0 lead. Not looking too probable, but you never know. Very close touch there by Walrus. Walrus ah. does get another save. It seems like a uh, misclick there by one of the members of Cathedral. It seems like that would have been um, a good save there, but it seems like Sebaz is trying to go for that. 
Might have been a, a dodge off to the wrong side, but 20 seconds left here. Bosco up four. Definitely taking game number two. But now, as we head into the intermission, as we can, we can start talking a little bit now um, as this uh, game number two ends. Cathedral is now down 2 0. Again, this is a best of five, meaning first team to win three games wins the overall series. Um, and has another win in their column as Fear Classic does get another goal here. 5 0. More. Just to set the pack a little bit. Um, Bosco once again trying to make their mark, uh, trying to force, uh, trying to get a little larger deficit here. But like we said, Cathedral is now down two games with one more life left in their uh, in their pocket. They need to win this next game to continue the series. Um, but also, it seems like Bosco is just there oh. as Walrus does get another good 50 off of a Cathedral Phantom car to end the game there. 6-0 Bosco, Donut on the other side with Cathedral. Yeah, uh, looks like uh, this, this match against uh, Phantom Cathedral is kind of following suit in what we've seen so far. You know, that first game was real, uh, real, real close. Uh, Cathedral doing a very good job at holding Bosco just down to three goals and while, while making two of their own. But uh, it looks like they kind of fe uh, fell apart a little bit in like the, the middle of the second match here. They were doing a really good job. Uh, only allowed one goal to get through in the first uh, three minutes or so. Uh, but as soon as I mentioned that, you know, obviously Fairy Classic came in with another goal. So, uh, Bosco running away with 6-0. And this, we just might see this uh, happen again in the third game if uh, Cathedral doesn't get their mental right. Cathedral not readying up all their players yet. Like I said, they're down two games. They definitely need to win this if they want to make the series continue. And um, we've seen Cathedral honestly hang on with Bosco for like the first maybe half of the games. But then as Bosco is now able to cooperate with them and uh, see how they play, that's when Bosco will ultimately um, take their mark and just go for a lot of shots. Um, although a lot of those shots in those uh, that this past game was um, off the post, but you can definitely see how much pressure Bosco would add on to uh, Add on to themselves, and uh, you know, this all of a sudden we have a 6 0 uh, game there as we head into game number three. Boss one match point. We've Walrus. seen this before. We've seen this before, yes, indeed. Bosco ultimately in their last game, just trying to make their statement, just trying to prove their point. Ultimately, I think the first series that we casted, we saw 20 0 in the last game, yeah, and so it seems like. Bosco just keeps her momentum up, just one goal, five seconds into it. We can see another large deficit game here as Fear Classic uh, does get a demo on a one. Over to Walrus. Does Walrus get there? Yes, he does. Another goal by him, 2-0. Just 15 seconds. seconds. Yep, just 15 seconds in, the game, in this last game. Yeah, it looks like uh, Bosco's actually started to notice uh, the cracks in the in Cathedral's wall. So they're just trying to make full advantage of that and just trying to make sure that, that wall crumbles even more. Small mistakes can cause a game. Yeah. We've definitely seen that in with Bosco Ooh. and with also a lot of professional players as well. Small mistakes can just ultimately um, cause a lot of games that can be ultimately be been won if they, those mistakes weren't made. And so um, Bosco, now in this game number three, got their feet wet with Cathedral. And now they know how they play. This is ultimately where they could shine. And, but for Cathedral, they need to figure out what they need to what they need to fix now. As Bosco with two goals in, uh, only less than a minute in, third goal now for K uh, for K Boss as uh, he now brings Bosco up to a hat trick lead. Uh, but in the professional scene, yes, this is only less than a minute in. These are definitely uh, cutbackable. Yeah. But with these guys and knowing how these guys play. Um, and we really haven't seen the Eagle Phantoms at all in any play BS season or any leagues that we play. So this is our first time we uh, really playing against them as well. And so going into this, Bosco just keeping up their chemistry, keeping up their momentum, just keeping up how they play. You can definitely see it translate here. There's still less, uh, over three minutes left in this uh, game number three with Bosco already up 3 up. Yeah, I mean, Cathedral is doing a much better job at uh, kind of maintaining speed up in uh, that third kickoff that we saw in this game. Um, you know, those first two were, were really bad. I mean, they let Google slide in just for 15 seconds, but in that third one, they were doing a, doing a really good job at keeping the ball at Bosco's side of the pitch and actually just uh, trying to fight off into the offense. Uh, you know, they do say that offense is a good defense. Uh, and Cathedral was doing really, really well there for a few seconds. So if they could kind of just come back to that sort of mentality, that sort of gameplay style, they have a real chance of making a comeback here. 
Bosco trying to get into the goal here, but K Boss does get a uh, does receive a clear there from one of the Cathedral Fox uh, offensive players. As ball is probably in blue half for probably the first time this game, as Bosco continues on their offensive pressure. Um, Walrus trying to go for the air dribble, does get a pass one, uh, but it seems like Cedaz is there for a little hit. Uh, low boost though, seems like a lot of Cathedral players are low on boost. Uh, boost starving is a real disadvantage um, in threes, as we did get shot there by Walrus, but uh, Galaxy is there for a save. Um, a lot of Bosco pressure here comes in as Galaxy trying to go for a touch, is low on boost, and is getting missed touches there as well, but Cedaz able to pinch it off the wall. Uh, Cathedral now, or as we hit, as we hit halftime in game number three, they need to figure something out now. There's time running out. Um, they're on their last life. They need to figure something out here to hopefully get a, hopefully tie the game back up. But it seems like with Bosco's pressure and with Bosco's playstyle, they don't want to let that happen. Yeah. Two minutes, a little over two minutes left now. Yeah, Cathedral's kind of slowly backing up bit by bit uh, I mean, to the point where they just kind of they just put the uh, ball back into the side of the pitch. So they definitely need to take a more offensive stand here if they want to uh, any hope of making the comeback to be honest. See guys, does get a good pop up for one, but Fear Classic is able to bring it back down over the Walrus. So K-Boss trying to go for a touch to bring it out to the orange half, but does get a missed touch. As Galaxy is there, Walrus on low boost or zero boost, trying to see if he can uh, jump that. But Fear Classic does get that as they say that. Is anyone there for Boss to finish? Fortunately, no. Big uh, clear there by Cathedral. Um, with just a minute and a half left. Like I said, Bosco would usually in the last game, but we see these huge deficits that uh, uh, make their mark here, but Bosco is just trying to waste a, little, waste, a little, waste a little time, hopefully trying to get the series over with. Uh, with only three goals and a little over a minute left in this game of the three. Yeah. A little bit eight left now. Phantoms trying to see if he can pass it over to one of the Cathedral members players. Yeah. Seems like Bosco trying to get over one, but seems like time is running out now. Less than a minute left. Yeah, that window for the Cathedral uh, Phantoms is rapidly, rapidly closing. If they don't decide to make something now, it's going to be too late. 50 seconds. Walrus trying to take this low. This can air dribble over one. Is he able to get over the second? No, Real Phantoms is there. Fear Classic does get a pinch off the wall. K-Boss trying to get a read, but the other is not there. But Walrus is there for his teammates as uh, it seems like Walrus also once again back on the offensive pressure drove. The Bosco's rotations are really fast and we definitely see that all throughout the series. As K-Boss does get a pass there by Fear Classic, but unfortunately it does get a block there by Real Phantoms. Uh, it's 30 seconds up on the clock. Bosco running away with the game. Running away with the series. Yeah. Seems like here is an easy sweep for them. And Bosco now still undefeated in the regular season for play BS. You can definitely see their championship mentality is still there. Um, and hopefully they can finally take one home here back in this season. Yeah, I mean, never say never, but it doesn't look like the future fans are going to be able to do much here in this uh, <laughs> this game as the ball finally does touch the ground and the timer hits zero and Bosco are able to run away with the series 3-0. Bosco able to run away with the series. Sweep, able to get uh, no goals on the other side of Cathedral here as well as... Bosco, once again, with their pressure, able to get what they wanted, able to get the win in their column, and just moving on with the season, just able to have that momentum. Yeah, I mean, Cathedral put up a really good fight there in game number one, but they just kind of slowly uh, slipped away uh, starting in game two, and, and they just kind of you know, lost uh, sight of what they needed to do in game three. But, you know, big props to them. There were uh, moments in the game where they were really putting Bosco on, on the edge of their, uh, their seats there. So they did uh, very well, uh, but Bosco... Uh, overall, uh, playing just as good as usual, uh, just as great as usual, and hopefully we can keep seeing an undefeated season, hopefully. GG's to Cathedral Phantoms, although Bosco does take the win there in an easy fashion, sweep, and congrats to them. Hopefully they do well in the season. Um, for everyone else, thank you guys for watching. We hope you guys like the content. If you do, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe on the channel as well. You have a lot of content uh, that is going to be posted on here with other games as well, so stay tuned for that. We are well into the fall season now and we're very excited for what all of these other players so with that sjb santos do you have any last words uh no just make sure you hit uh subscribe uh like the video and leave any feedback in the comments yeah all right thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys next time